Rajiv opened a new ready-made store for garments. So this is a new store and as an inaugural offer, he gave this voucher which said that you are entitled to shop worth rupees 900 for free. So all you have to do is get this cutting along to the store and you can buy things for 900 free of cost. So there's this dress in this store which is for 3000 rupees. So a customer comes with that gift voucher which entitled him to shop for 900 rupees for free. Now the person liked this dress a lot. So to buy it, the amount that the customer would have to pay to buy this would be, this is for 3000 rupees. But since the person or the customer had the voucher which entitled him to 900 rupees free of cost, that 900 rupees would be subtracted. So the total cost would be 2100. So rather than paying 3000, the customer pays only 2100. So now since the customer is paying 2100 or the shop gives the dress for rupees 2100, this is the selling price of this dress because this dress was sold at 2100. Then what about this 3000? Well, this 3000 was a price that was printed on this dress or was marked on this dress. Usually when we see a price written on the dress or on any article when we go to a store, then that price is the marked price or the listed price. Marked price or the listed price of that article and the price at which you get that is called the selling price. Now this reduction in the price from 3000 to 2100 is what we call as discount. So all these gift vouchers are nothing but discounts. You might get discount in other forms also. If you get a free gift, that's also a discount. So from 3000 to 2100, this reduction of 900 rupees is nothing but a discount of 900 rupees. So how we get this selling price is? marked price which was 3000 which was listed on the dress so this is the marked price minus discount gives me the selling price so we know that here marked price was 3000 there was a gift voucher which is nothing but a discount of 900 rupees so this gives me 2100 which is nothing but the selling price of this article so this is how we get the selling price. Now there's one more customer that comes to the shop to buy this t-shirt. So this t-shirt was for 1200 rupees. The customer again comes up with the gift voucher which entitles the person to buy for 900 rupees free of cost. So selling price again would be marked price minus discount. Now this price which is listed on this garment is nothing but the marked price which is 1200 rupees. The gift voucher for 900 rupees is nothing but discount. So that is the discount here. So the selling price would be 1200 minus 900 which is 300 rupees. So what we see is that the customer comes and takes this t-shirt which is for 1200 rupees for just 300 rupees. Now Rajiv is puzzled. He sees that customers are coming with those gift vouchers and taking things at much lower rate. In fact, objects of 900 rupees were given free of cost only. So he realizes that something is wrong. He cannot give a uniform discount of 900 because all objects have different prices. There are different prices at which they are marked. So the marked price of different articles is different. Hence he cannot just state one particular discount. So he tries to figure out a way. He tries to analyze this. And this is what he observes. He observes that for a marked price of 3000, this dress was marked at a price of 3000. He gave a discount of 900. Similarly for this t-shirt which was marked at 1200, he again gave a discount of 900, the same discount. So he tries to find the discount for 1 rupee. So for 1 rupee which is marked price of 1 rupee, 
the discount would be 900 divided by 3000 by unitary method. Similarly, we can find the discount for mark price of 1 rupee for this t-shirt also. So for this t-shirt, the mark price of 1 rupee would give a discount of 900 divided by 1200. Now, since we found for 1 and which is a small number, we can find for 100 to compare the two. So what we do is we find for 100 by just multiplying the 2 by 100. Now this gives me Thirty here, so this is thirty, and in this case, I get twenty-five into three, which is seventy-five. So thirty and seventy-five. That is for mark price of hundred rupees. Discount is thirty rupees. For mark price of hundred rupees for this T-shirt, the discount was seventy-five rupees. So we get marked price of 100 rupees and discount. So this discount is per 100 rupees of mark price. Again this discount is per 100 rupees of mark price. So this discount per 100 or I can say discount per cent. So this is nothing but discount per cent. We say this is discount percentage. And Discount percentage would be, now in this case 30 is the discount percentage and there is a symbol for percentage which we put here after 30. So this means 30% of discount or the discount percentage in this case is 30%. Similarly for here discount is 75 per 100. So I can say 75%. This is the symbol for percentage. So discount here is 75%. So we get discount percentage like this, so 30% or 75%. So he realizes that for this dress, he had given a discount of 30%, whereas for this t-shirt, he had given a discount of 75%. So what Rajiv realizes is that he should have a discount percentage rather than giving discounts. And well, this is what you observe also, discount percentage is discount by marked price into 100 Remember this, that this is marked price, not the cost price, not the selling price. Discount is always calculated on the marked price. And why discount percentage? Because we have seen that this is a more uniform way of giving discount. Whether irrespective of the price of the object, we can give a discount percentage which would be uniform for all the objects. Usually discount percentages are seen when there is a festival season or there is a clearance sale. Whenever you go to stores you would see at that time discounts such as 20%, 30%, 65% off. So these are all discounts given in percentage. That is discount percentage. So now Rajiv also gives a discount percentage in his store. So there is this pair of jeans which is marked at 2000 rupees. That is the mark price is 2000 rupees. And there is a discount percentage of 25%. So how much will you get this pair of jeans for? That is you have to find the selling price of these jeans. We know that discount percentage is discount upon marked price into 100. Discount is always discount percentage is always calculated for the marked price. So it is discount by mark price into 100. From here I can say that discount times 100 would be nothing but mark price into discount percentage. Cross multiplying. So discount into 100 is mark price into discount percentage. From here I can find discount. So discount would be marked price into discount percentage. Divided by 100. So this is what I get. Mark price into discount percentage by 100. Now I write mark price as MP. Discount percentage is discount percentage divided by 100. So this is what my discount is. So I know the discount. I wanted to find the selling. I want to find the selling price. That is SP. We know that the selling price 
is marked price minus discount. This we already know that selling price is marked price minus discount. And we know discount is this. So I can substitute the value of discount here, which would be marked price minus discount is marked price into discount percent. divided by 100 so this is what I get now we will call this discount percent as D we will just write a uh, letter D to represent discount percent so my selling price becomes MP minus that is mark price minus mark price into D by 100 Now here mark price is common in both these terms. So I can take mark price outside. What I will be left with is here just 1 minus here D by 100. This is what I get as my selling price. So I get selling price as mark price minus mark price into D by 100. Taking mark price outside. I get selling price is mark price times 1 minus D by 100. Now further I can write this as taking LCM here 100 minus D by 100. Further this is what I get. So remember this, that selling price, when you know the marked price and you know a discount percentage, you can easily find the selling price using this formula, which is marked price times 100 minus D by 100, where this D is the discount percentage. D is the discount percentage. So let's try to find the selling price for this pair of jeans now. Marked price is 2000. Discount is 25 percent. So we know that selling price is mark price into 100 minus D by 100. We know the mark price which is 2000 times. We know the discount percent is 25. So this is what we get. Now further this is equal to 2000 times 100 minus 25 is 75 by 100 now 75 25 3 is 25 4 further 500 here so I get 1500 so the selling price turns out to be 1500 after calculations I get selling price as 1500 so you can see the marked price was 2000, you are getting it for 1500, that is there is a reduction in the price which is discount and discount percentage is 25%. So remember the discount percentage is discount divided by marked price into 100. So for profit percent, loss percent, we have seen profit or loss divided by the cost price. Remember for discount you have to consider the marked price, so it is discount by marked price into 100. Further, when you know the discount percentage, D is the discount percentage and the marked price, you can find the selling price. Selling price would be marked price into 100 minus D by 100. So remember these two formulas which will help you to find discount percentage or the selling price when marked price and discount percentage is given.